Okay guys, we'll see how this comes out. So I am back in the cornfield uh, that I showed you rotary hoeing on Sunday. Today's Thursday. Uh, so we are at day, uh, what would that make it? Tuesday, that would make it day nine. And you can see the corn came through perfectly. Uh, I, let me see if I can zoom up here. Just a hair, if that helps. There you can see the little corns real nice. So the corn came through guys. Uh, the rotary hoe did not kill it and it did reset the weed clock. Uh, if I had not rotary hoed this field would be solid green. But luckily by that rotary hoeing and then two hours of you know 85 degree weather uh, we were able to reset the weed clock. And so you can see little baby green coming out there. Little itty bitty weeds coming, but the corn right now, uh, it's about three inches tall. And so I will be able to come back with the spike cultivator here in, uh, you know, hopefully the rain stops today. And about uh, two, three, or four days after the rain, you can cultivate uh, on this ground that sheds water pretty good. And uh, anyway, I will be back with the spike cultivator. Uh, at that point in time, since we had three inches, well, we had 390 of rain, almost four inches. Uh, but at that point in time, I will be able to, uh, it will form a crust. That much rain will form a, in effect, a crust on the soil. And with the corn already punched through like that, you will be able to come along with the spike and it will break the crust and it will kill any little weeds that are coming uh, since then. And so, uh, have the potential to have a super clean, super nice bottom field.